discretion is advised. Speakers up, blasting through your airwaves. Stressing through the week, but now it's hot day. Whether at home or riding through your city. It's always gratitude when you're lounging lyrically. Trying to justify it in the midweek minute. Screaming blessings up to the black on business. We really love our fans and their energy. The message is vibe over everything. I want to welcome y'all out to Midweek Vibe. I'm your boy, Cole Bain. That is Draper Winston. I am. And it's Wednesday, goddammit. It is Wednesday. It's early as fuck, though. It's early as fuck, though, but it is Wednesday. You know, before we look, before we pay these bills, he's got a, a quick PSA. <laughs> TXU has popsicles. <laughs> Why the fuck do they got popsicles? What they going to do with them? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Wait. But which popsicles, though? That's what we need to hey. ask. Which popsicles do they have? Do they have the, like, the, I, I don't know, like the push pops? Or do they have, like, the freezer pops that come in the juice? The fucking freezer pops. And you <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the Weiler's freezer pops. They look like, look, hold on, they look like a look like an icy fr- uh, uh, fence and shit. You got to break <laughs> them shits apart. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, I, you know, I got to say this. Daddy, <laughs> to my dad that's listening right now, okay? Listen, Weiler's was not better than Kool-Aid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Weiler's <laughs> Yo, Weiler's was <laughs> not better than Kool-Aid, okay? Weiler's was like 25 cent. It was. A pack of shit. It, it was. While Kool-Aid was 59 cent a pack. The pack stick together and shit. <laughs> and he would <laughs> There were many times we would go to the grocery store and he would grab one pack, but we would come home with three. Because they were stuck together. You got to break up the wireless pack. <laughs> Hold on, you got to break up that shit like it's a goddamn massage or something. You got to break that shit up. Feeding it like yeah. it. <laughs> like he's breaking up some crack. Like <laughs> Slapping it on the table and shit. Thank you, dudes. Wireless was very bootleg. And my father, he really thought he was doing something. You need about five packs just to, just to make a gallon. Just in a whole bag of sugar. The whole thing. The whole bag of sugar just oh, wasn't enough. shit. It just wasn't enough. Oh man, yo, shout out shout out to my brother and his wife, uh, you know, down in down in Cancun right now. Yeah, I seen that man. Shout out to them out there. Huh? <laughs> shout out to Ayo Damani right uh, Ayo down Dimani, in uh, right down the way. In, in Cabo. But let, let's let's go ahead and pay these bills. Let's do it. Vibe is brought to you by Hello Studios right here in the heart of downtown Dallas. And is a production of Bacardi Dallas. And still how's USA? Wow. Let the vibe go with a glass can't follow. Look at you. I know. I'm on this shit. Look at you. And in the fucking radio voice today. But <laughs> <laughs> that was straight radio voice. That was. That was a professional. That was nothing more than radio that voice. That was right a there, professional. Brother. That was yeah. a fucking professional That was promo. a professional radio voice right there, <laughs> dog. You, yeah. You made that happen right there. I can't even mad at you. Oh, man. All right. So. Ah. Uh, do I really have to do the fucking weather report? It's hot as fuck. <laughs> There's nothing. To Yo, <laughs> weather wise, it is 109 <laughs> degrees outside. There's nothing to report weather wise, brother, at at all. At all. At all. I, I think. No, I think this is one of the first times that we here in Texas. No, not one of the first times, but it is rare that we often get to three, three uh, digits. Digits. Weather. You know, normally we 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 will. We'll tiptoe to it. We'll get to 98, 99. But, man, it's rare that we get to 111. Like, this is this Phoenix yep. weather, that desert weather. Bro, nah, you know I, mean, I mean, nah, I'm about to say, nah, that, that Vegas, that shit is a little different. Nah, that Vegas weather. That's a little, that shit a little different, man. But, I mean, like, and I saw somebody, like, complaining and shit, talking about, nah, I'm complaining. Because I don't come outside before <laughs> 5 o'clock. No more. This is a fucking rarity, like, to see me out, like, no. but, it, but this is business. Uh, other than that, bro, like, I saw somebody complaining, talking about, man, Man, like we ain't seen, we ain't never seen uh, triple digits back to back to back like this. Fuck that. Call that shit Drake. 
Look, look, y'all, look, y'all are simple as shit. Y'all are simple as, <laughs> y'all are simple as shit right now. Y'all are simple as shit. I remember, look, see, this is Drake. Call it a Drake. Call it Drake. Not the, look, this is Drake. The old Drake, this not the, not the never mind, honestly, no, Drake. No. Not this new, not that Drake. I need you to <laughs> get yourself together. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, so, I remember, look, bro, I remember growing up, even in fucking college, well, like that, like, we had a week or two, like, straight where the shit was, it started at 100, and that yeah. shit just escalated. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. There were a few times that, you know, well, I went to school. Well, no, I went to school in Louisiana, and then I went to school in Texas, and um, there was to- <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Shout out, to, shout out to Steelhouse. Shout out to Steelhouse. <laughs> I just poured some, too, as well. So shout out to our sponsor, Steelhouse. Uh, but I remember going to school in Louisiana, and it was a little more humid. Like, it was kind of like the Houston weather. It was yeah. humid. But then when I got to Texas, right, and, you know, the best <laughs> season was over. And Shit, draw like your head. We go, man, <laughs> we're going to the springtime. Uh, I'm like, man, uh, you know, we had a day off. I was like, man, I'm going to go wash my car and everything. Man, I walked outside. And I had on I had on a tank top, you know, some hoop shorts, you know, some 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 chill shock socks or whatever. Mm. Man, it was hot as fuck. I said, man, I'm going back inside. That's why I un- I now I understand why. What am I doing it? Now I understand why the elders cut the grass at four o'clock in the morning. No, I get it. <laughs> no, I get it. At four a.m. Oh, I I totally get it now. I totally get yes. it now. I understand why they do everything at f- <laughs> <laughs> at six a.m. before. I totally get it. They're like, oh, shit. I done done nine things before the sun came hey, up. I understand, Granny. See, now y'all, look, now y'all understand. This is why This is why your, your grandparents would be saying, hey, look, at 9 a.m., half the fucking day gone. Half the fucking day gone. <laughs> 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 the fucking day gone. Because they, they do that shit at 4 a.m. Have you ever woke up? Have you ever have you woke up at that time and gotten stuff done in that time period have you have you ever done that well i'm reverse i didn't go to sleep till four four thirty five o'clock okay. this morning <laughs> Shit. right I didn't, either. I, didn't, I didn't either but that's a different story okay because i just my mind was was just up and i was working i was, working. I was in creative mode and so no. i was getting things knocked out which is cool i've got to get done you know because <laughs> as creators we hit nocturnal mode you know yeah hit nocturnal mode and yes. we in that grow groove right well there was a period of time where i said you know what I'm going to do this whole the, the Dwayne Rock Johnson thing, right? He gets up every day at <laughs> 4 a.m. Uh. He goes, works out, right? Goes, work out, and then he goes and meditates and all this stuff like that and mm-hmm. everything and all this stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So I get up at right about, I get up at right about uh, 4 o'clock, 4.15. Mm-hmm. I get up at 4.15. And now, mind you, it's quiet. You know, it's quiet in my house. You know, I got a thousand people in my house, you know, with my wife, my kids and everything. It's quiet. So I get up, I meditate, I write my goals down, what I'm going to do for the day, right? I'm at the gym at 5 a.m., okay? It is me, right? And the elderly. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, trust me. Hey, once upon a time in my life, I worked, look, I worked an overnight shift. And I was, like, I was like, you know what? I'm fucking up. Let me go to the goddamn uh, gym. Hey, it's about six of them. They're a crew. They all come in together. <laughs> look, they take care of it. Hey, hey, did you take your pills this morning? Did you? Remember, look, remember the prune juice. We got to stay regular. <laughs> That's all the fuck they <laughs> Hey, <laughs> they work, look, they welcome you in. Hey, baby, we don't know. welcome you in. We don't never see no young people. Hey, how you hey, doing? How you, are you okay? I remember when I was that young. You know, you're so full of energy. You're so full of life. You're so strong. <laughs> huh? You stay blessed now. You're not look okay. Now, you now, now, hold on. Day. Now, 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 Grandma don't know how to like how to work this treadmill. Is this is this string to cut it off or is it <laughs> is this just to you know to help me like not to harm myself? I don't understand. Now, you you doing all them loose weights? Don't call them free weights. You doing all them loose weights? Now, baby, what you doing when you bending down and and you twisting? I look my like look my hip. My hip replacement. Uh, I need to. T- I, I, I didn't take my pills this morning. That's what the look. That's what the fuck they in there. That is what they. You know what? Man. Shout out to my grandmother. What like that? You know what? Eggs ain't supposed to be made at four forty five, five o'clock in the morning. You you coming and knocking on my door? Yeah. Breakfast ready. Breakfast ready. It says why we got a microwave. Juicy, <laughs> <laughs> can we just leave the goddamn? Can we leave the goddamn eggs? All right, over there, up under the toaster <laughs> oven. Can we do <laughs> Yo, oh, my God. 
Oh, I love this studio. <laughs> Y'all, the studio is lit today. <laughs> and I lit love today. it. I love it. No, like, like, see, like, seriously. Hey, look, is Gigi serious and shit? Gigi serious. Get oh, your, for real. Hey, get your ass up. But you know what's funny, though? It could be two people <laughs> in the house. It could be two people in the house. But Gigi is gonna make a feast for seven people. Don't know. Don't know. Okay, <laughs> seven people. So that was my aunt Bertie. That's what Gigi would do. That was my aunt Bertie. My aunt Bertie like was in the uh, was in the military, so she cooked for a whole look. First SAT All word. Time. Come on, talk already. already. So she cooked. She cooked for a whole platoon. A great word. I know. That's I how know. you start off a word. Right. Yeah. So she cooked for a whole platoon or whatever like that. So look, look, you just cook. Look, you just cooking for me, my siblings, and my mama. That's it. Look, look, hey, it's about forty pork chops. <laughs> L- listen, listen. She had the whole crop uh, out of whole potatoes. The whole crop, the whole goddamn field <laughs> out of whole potatoes. Yo, greens. I don't eat them. I don't eat them. But I'm pretty sure there wasn't none left in Kroger. It <laughs> wasn't none left in Kroger. <laughs> Yo, I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. Uh, and then look, hold on. Sweet tea, not the look, not the kind, not the kind you buy in the store. No, in the, in the container. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Hey, mm-hmm. she bought the whole. She bought the whole box of Lipton. Look here, you better say oh, it. She bought the whole. She bought the whole box of Lipton. We all live the same. Hold way. on. She look, look, hey, she fired up that little ass kettle on the goddamn stove. Yeah. You right there. Heard the, heard the, whoo, you knew that she was ready. <laughs> we all live the same life. Hey, and then she put thirty bags in the goddamn. She put thirty <laughs> bags, right? <laughs> She put thirty bags in a goddamn teapot, right? Yes. Into the tea, into the pitcher. In the pitcher. In the pitcher. In the pitcher. Right, but it was it was a pitcher that you couldn't see through. It, look, it was either brown or yellow no, with no, the no, white look, top. I went through the valley of the shadow of death. That shit was dark as hell. What? I was yeah. like, yo, this shit better be good as fuck. Now, that tea dark. Look, now, and this was what the kicker was. My grandmama. My grandma. <laughs> <laughs> my grandmama. My grandmama would take the tea. She would put the sugar in it, right? And she would put it on the porch and let it sit there. So you got a hint of outside in your teeth. Yeah, man. What? You got a hint of outside what? in your teeth. What? <laughs> what did I? Absolutely. Man. She no, would let no, it sit no, no, there. No, 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 because no, what no. she would say was the sun rays was the ones that would That's how, heat oh, up no. tea. I was just about to say, no. Your grandmother, look, your grandmother was letting the ancestors uh, stir that tea. That's what she Absolutely. was Absolutely. And it was some of the best tea that I've ever had in my y- life. Yo. A sun kiss tea. Listen, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a fucking real like here literally in a minute. I'm gonna do a real because you know that tea. Look, you, you saw when the, look when the sugar dropped in the tea. He <sighs> looking in there. He got that little swirl. Oh, that little swirl like the like the Bermuda Triangle. Like the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> yeah, that bitch in there looking like galaxies. <laughs> <laughs> like the Milky Way and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like the Mickey Way Galaxy and shit in that oh, motherfucker, man. Oh. Hell yeah. All right, so if anybody out there got some soul food or got some food for us, hey, we off the air in about an hour. In about an hour. <laughs> Just, you know, send us a DM, you know. Or Listen. A, a text or something, you know. We, 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 we want to eat something. Listen, you your know. boys stay hungry. <laughs> All right, look, speaking, look. Ah, oh, fuck. Which way, look, which way do y'all want to go? Which way do you want to go? Which way do y'all want to go? Just rolling right into it, man. All right. Let's start out with, you know, since we're talking about food and, you know, food is normally brought on by a woman that cooked for you, like oh, oh, you shit. came over or like that. And oh, obviously, you know, after shit. that, you, know, you get into some Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, black excellence. That's all we're gonna black say. Black excellence, that. y'all. Black excellence. <sighs> so we get look, ne- look Netflix. Net- oh. Netflix, bro. Netflix is at it again. Netflix is at it again, bro. Now, oh, man, for all y'all on alert. It's inflation all over the place. It is. And they've been warning y'all for a minute. They threaten this. But let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and hit them where it hurt. Let's go ahead and hit them where it hurt. Netflix is saying to all you motherfuckers that still pa- like still look, still sharing your passwords to people, they're going to start charging. They're going to start charging per, per pass. Per pass? Per pass. <laughs> per Shit. Per pass. You know what happened? They lost a million subscribers in the second quarter. Oh, because you own that bullshit. They lost a million subscribers in their second quarter. You a million. A million you subscribers in their second you quarter. You about to lose two million. That's what they you did. About to lose two, did. two more. Don't act. <laughs> Mama D, what's up, baby? Mama D jumping in. Hey, Mama D, how you doing? I got to call you this week, Mama D. I need to talk to you anyway. The real Mama D in the building, y'all. Oh, shit. You, look, they about to lose two more. 
two more million. About lose two more million. You telling me the shit that I pay for? Yeah. Just, and you know what? Look, they, if they come my way, if they come my way, hey Netflix. So you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me I can't share shit with my wife? Yeah, that's what they're saying. You, and you know what? And you know what? Why? Why never? None of us even ever questioned this, right? Mm-hmm. So, I have multiple devices in my home. I have TVs, iPads, phones, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. In Netflix, right? Based upon which one you get is yeah. the amount of devices that you can share yeah. your Netflix password on in your home, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I don't feel because I have the ability to have a TV, an iPad, a phone all in my home that I have to pay for each one of those devices. Fuck no. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like no, you, 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 you understand what I'm saying. I get you. Right? It's all in my home. If it's all using the same password, it should not count. I should still be paying. Listen. Right? And I'll even give them seven ninety nine. dollars Listen. 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 I ain't got no kids. I ain't got no kids. But. Me and a significant other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's two. I got two phones. phones. Hey, one, one for the plug, one, one for the load. load. I got, <laughs> hey, I got at least four TVs. <laughs> <laughs> at least four. At least four. One in one that room. At least four. At least four. <laughs> that, look, 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 that, look, that is six. That is six logins. Right there, that's six. Yeah. And then if you add on kids, what about that? Well, sir, they're a different house. Yeah, we married, but we live an independent lifestyle, God damn it. Right. I want my goddamn space. You want hers. That's why we got two different goddamn houses. That, that's why. Who are you to tell me how the fuck I need to live my life? Absolutely. Don't tell me how to live my life. If I want to go upstairs to the media room and watch Netflix, I should be able to log on in my same damn house. Listen, fuck you. Disney's about to get all this goddamn money. Look, they get it. <laughs> I got Disney Plus on seven TVs and and devices. I got Disney Plus on seven TVs listen, and devices. Listen. And look here. I get charged one amount. Listen, no, no, fuck, fuck both of y'all. One amount. Fuck both of y'all. This Roku about to get all this goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it ain't even a fire stick anymore. It's it ain't Roku. even a fire stick anymore. It's Roku. That Roku is for to get it all. That Roku is for to get it. About the Roku. Hey, about to get all this shit. Yeah, get it. All get for, mm. Fuck the. <laughs> <laughs> fuck all that. This Roku. This Roku about to get all this <laughs> shit. <laughs> this Roku. <laughs> I don't give a good goddamn. Matter of fact, I don't, look, I don't care what, what goddamn room I'm in. Shit, this Roku. This Roku. About to get all this. This Roku is about to get all look, of y'all this. Gonna, look, y'all going to start fucking with people. With this, look, with this, in, look, with, this right. with this internet and these hackers out here, God damn, we don't fucking need you. We really, at this point, like, honestly, we really don't need you. You know, this we I, really don't need this you. Have my v, look, this is how my VIN. I just, I just need to have my <laughs> VIN and my IP. That's, <laughs> That's it. it. I just need to hide those two. That's it. Play and peekaboo with that shit. And just hide it. I'm really good. I'm good. Because there is way too much out here. Ah, fuck. You know what I mean? To be, like, listen, okay. So I don't even know what the newest movie that's out right now. Mm. I don't even know what the newest movie is out. I can tell you. But if you can find it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can find that motherfucker on. <laughs> God dang. Yo. But if you can find it, mm-hmm. right, Yeah. on movies123.com. Oh, my God. It's the done deal. So why would I, why would I even have to do that? Movies one two three popcorn time. Popcorn. Like, uh, that's what I'm of, saying. Hey, that's a lot of shit. It's a lot of shit that that you can get to that we have access to, and and it was it started with the jailbreak ah uh, of the Amazon Fire Stick. No 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 no. It started before right? it started before that. Y'all used to jailbreak them goddamn razors, them <laughs> fucking phones and shit. That's what the fuck. Y'all used to jailbreak them goddamn razors. <laughs> Who's jailbreaking iPhones in this mouth? Oh, okay. You can get any and everything. Yo, jailbreaking, jailbreaking the iPhones so you can get that shit on Sprint. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Because they wasn't selling them. Because they wasn't selling them. <laughs> Wait, is Sprint still around? <laughs> yeah, it is. You yeah. lying. I think they merged, but, you know. With who? Probably T-Mobile. <laughs> Ain't nobody using them shits. If you're using T-Mobile. Uh, now, nah, okay, nah, okay. Let me retract my fuck. statement like Kimber. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> You're welcome. I threw that was a slug. All right. Yo. So I forgot about that. <laughs> that made me retract my statement like Kimber. <laughs> I. <laughs> they saw they wearing hats. They saw they wearing hats. And y'all PPP loan, how much is left? <laughs> like, damn, Kim. 
So I had T-Mobile <sighs> at one time. I right? had Sprint at one time? I had T-Mobile at one time. Now, honestly, it was one of the worst services I've ever had <sighs> in my life. But the phone was cheap. <sighs> right? I got the phone for a great discount. The The service was horrible. Right, I had a sidekick, and that was really the reason. Yo, that was the real reason I why had a I went with. Too. Yeah, that was the real reason why I went with T-Mobile because I had a sidekick. Damn, kick. I did have T-Mobile. I had the sidekick, Fuck, so the three. Funny. That every time you would flip it, it would go, hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and it was just something about walking Sorry. around like a fucking the, lightsaber. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how it sounded. But it was something about walking around, and be like, "Hello, you got phone? All right, cool. Let me send this text." Hmm. And your screen would Luke. would go. Hmm. I'm your father. I'm your father. They will pop up. So <laughs> something about that. But T-Mobile was the worst service that yeah, I've ever had in my life. Bro, Sprint, how the fuck I moved two steps and my call dropped. See, and I my, never look, had hold Sprint. On, hold on. In my own goddamn house. <laughs> in my own goddamn house, bro. In the same network. Nigga, go get some of that tea that your grandma <laughs> made. Go get some of that tea. You lose a whole fucking conversation. I tried to order three pizzas. <laughs> tried to order three goddamn pizzas, bro. Simple as shit. I got all the way to the end. Oh, I, ordered, I ordered, some, ordered some fucking pepperoni pieces, bro. I got all the way to the end. All the way to the fucking end, bro. <laughs> Had to call back and start the whole goddamn order over. I said, you motherfucker. In my own goddamn house. In my own goddamn house, bro. <laughs> Shit. In my own damn house. Oh. How? How, Sway? And then look, look. <sighs> hold on. I gave him a whole next SAT word. I gave him a whole soliloquy. When I, oh, looked, wow. when I called in, I said, listen, I have been a loyal customer with you. That was, those are the words. Hold on, hold on. Great words hold right on, there. Hold on. Look, hold on. You, look, you, get, hold on. you get them the exact date. I've been a loyal customer with you since February 18th, 1999. <laughs> 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 when Cash Money took over for the 9 <laughs> the 2000. Nine the 2000. <laughs> you know, Birdman did not want this. <laughs> he did not want this. You know, I look. I, I find it. I find it next SCT. I find it very egregious that I'm losing. Wow. That I'm losing. I'm losing cell cell. Look, look. You get all take cellular service. There you are. I'm oh, losing great cellular words. service in my in my own household. Great words. I'm not roaming in an, in another country. I'm not on. I'm look. I'm not in transit. You know, uh, you know, to another state. Yeah. I'm losing this cellular service in my own household. Yeah. That's great words. Well, Mr. Well, Mr. Bain. See, I was about to say, fucking you were, you were, <laughs> you were, you were. Well, Mr. Bain, what can we do to? You can give me, look, like, you can give me like the extra money that's in my account that I like that I prepaid, whatever that, because I'm leaving. Well, no, Mr. Brown, we we value, uh, we value our customers, but clearly you don't value me enough. <laughs> So how about we do this? <laughs> how about we give you three months of service? How about you kiss my ass? <laughs> <laughs> and give me my goddamn <laughs> How about you kiss my ass? And give me my goddamn money. <laughs> Just give me my money. Hold on a little. No, no, that's when, that's when the dark side come out. I would never in my fucking life ever get a phone with y'all ever, ever fucking ever again. again. And then they come out with the goddamn fade five yeah. and the five goddamn lines for $15. for $15. For $15. I say, you know what? <laughs> that ain't you know what hey Sprint I apologize <laughs> especially especially for people that don't call a bunch of people right so you get slick like I don't call but about five six people I'm sorry Sprint I'm sorry you know what I'm sorry can we talk about this y'all said nice and we can't start at 3pm I'm three. sorry <laughs> I apologize my phone is only seven dollars yes I'm sorry I, you know what I was wrong. <laughs> I wasn't in my <laughs> right state of mind. <laughs> you know what? It was just one. Of, it was Texas. I was just frustrated. I didn't mean it. I was frustrated. You know, I, I should have <laughs> look, look, hey, I should have said it was God telling me. It was God telling me because the person I was talking to was bad for my soul. And y'all were just trying to, y'all were just trying to intervene and cut that. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I'm sorry, Sprint. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. <sighs> Do you accept my policy? It's better than Veri Verizon. Verizon just tell you, like, we're, we're just working on the towers. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Them some bitches, man. Them some bitches. I had, I had Verizon for a year, right? I had Verizon for a year. And oh, shit. they gave me this phone I had never seen before. Uh. It was free. <laughs> it was a gold Kira Sarah. Was the Kira Sarah? It was a I was about to say a Pixel 8. It was a gold <laughs> Kira Sarah, right, phone. 
and the phone had the antenna that you would have to pull pause. Oh, did you fuck. have to pull it out, right? Pause, to pause, get service. Pause. pause. I did say pause. Pause. Right. So it was it was that. Right. So I had the Kira Sarah. <laughs> and I was like The name alone, bro. The name alone, right, was like this is this phone is horrible. Kira Sarah. Right. So I'm with Verizon. And I could only be with him for a year because I was like, I'm only gonna sign a year contract with y'all. Y'all said y'all were better than uh T Mobile. I said, but if, if all this shit don't work, I'm going AT and T and I'm leaving at that. Listen. Right? Man, I went one year with that was the worst huh. cellular anything oh, not that the, I've ever had not the nation's, in my life. Not the nation's leading uh <laughs> shit. <laughs> cellular towers. No, in garage and parking garages and shit like that. <laughs> Like, where the fuck do they towers be? Hey, hey, look, look. Say say what you want about the evil empire. Say what you want about the evil fuck empire. Fuck that. AT&T, I don't ever lose shit. I, look, I have been a loyal customer of AT&T for going on 14 years. Listen, I'm, I'm probably like 20. 14 years. Probably like 20. Hey, AT&T, holla at your people. Like, hey, look, hey. You know, since we're talking about Let's it. Let's tag them, motherfucker. You know AT&T. Right? I'm tagging them right now. Listen. AT&T. We're both loyal customers of AT and T, right? Cellular and and internet devices and bundles. <laughs> there you go. Get with us. Hey, <laughs> hey, I need look. Listen. Get with us. I need that shit. Two. Get with us. I need two phones. Yes. I need two internet connections. <laughs> listen. <laughs> speaking look. Speaking of things that are like that are multiplied. Speaking of things that are multiplied. Your boy Nick Cannon is back. Back at the shit. Your boy Nick Cannon. He have enough, baby. Estimated that he's going to have, like, it's, it's, it's for sure. He's going to have three more kids before the end of the year. Three more. Now, I'm going to give y'all a little. Some people say conspiracy theories, like all this other shit. But it's only conspiracy because y'all don't know who, y'all don't know what the fuck it is. Nick. Y'all ain't never heard that shit. Nick. No, don't say Nick. Mm-mm. He, look, he, his ass is not fucking slick. Allegedly, I'm gonna say that word like a multitude Please of times. Continue to keep using allegedly. Allegedly, now Please. Nick Can Nick Cannon is having three more, which is bringing his total to what 11? 11. 12? 11. 11. 11. Bringing 11 his total to 11. Song. Nick Cannon has a red disease, right? <laughs> he has a red disease. I'm gonna put this on your mental. Put this on your mental. Open up your eyes. Open up your eyes. Those that get what I'm doing right now, y'all understand? Open up your eyes. Nick Cannon ain't fucking slick. Allegedly. Put a cord on. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Nick Cannon is just getting uh getting candidates for uh <laughs> Yep, I'm going there. He just getting candidates for uh uh, uh for selling your transfusions and shit. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Oh my God, yo! There's a conspiracy, <laughs> a C O N conspiracy. Yo, I look, look hey, and they got look, look eleven fucking kids in a year and a half. <sighs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> every every time you look up. So when you put it in that terms. Yeah. Eleven kids in a year and a half. Dude, exactly, Jeff. Jeff said it makes sense. That's almost one a month. Now I'm exagger I'm exaggerating. That's almost or one a month. S A look S A T S A T word. I've, Jeez. I've, look, I've, I've obliviated. <laughs> <laughs> you know the outcome of that shit. But it's not 11 kids in you know in a year and a half. But this makes 11 fucking kids. He has a rare disease. Yeah. Which mean like which he he's talked about like the you know the the strenuous right the strenuous eating. And all these, you know, the like the herbs and everything else that he's taking or whatever like that, like on a consistent basis. <clears throat> Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh um, uh, I hope he having fun. Hey Jeff, hey, he having a lot of fucking fun. He having a lot of fun, man. I mean, regardless of regardless of what he's going through and, and these, what he is dealing with. And these chicks are lining up. I mean, we understand the process <laughs> of what it takes to do that, right? We understand that process. And that that process can be a very fun process. Oh, you know, it, is. I mean, it can be a very fun process. She hate me. <laughs> if y'all ain't seen that movie, you understand. <laughs> she hate me. Shout out to Spike Lee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, but eleven, eleven fucking ki eleven kids, bro. 
11. But, uh, but just picture that shit. Just picture that shit. Allegedly. Just picture that shit. When it comes time to him actually needing, like, whatever, he has 11, 11 people. Which is true. 11 people. I mean, when you look at it from that standpoint, I mean, he has 11 people, you know, that he can, you know, yeah. pull whatever he may need from. Yeah. Who may be put 11 potential matches. That's exactly what the fuck they are. That could honestly, you know, save his life. Yeah. <laughs> Allegedly. So, uh, let's go ahead and move on. Speaking, look, speaking <laughs> of... <laughs> They gonna fucking hate us, right? Now. This is why. This is he. Oh shit! My damn brother. Yeah, you you got damn right. My got damn, damn right. brother. Pay That's attention. Right. Pay attention. All right. So speaking of speaking of children, speaking of ch- fellas, fellas, <laughs> stand up for your fucking rights, bro. Start. Pro- it's time for us to start protesting, like all these women out in the goddamn streets, because they like it's some Republicans are trying to pass a bill that says like uh, you know a man has to pay child support. As soon as the baby's conceived. <laughs> Y'all ain't shooting like a fuck that. I ain't shooting the club up no more, goddammit. I'm sorry, I am. I'm sorry, I am. <coughs> I got a real one. But, uh, <laughs> I got a real one. But, yo, like, no, like, so, yeah. And so, look, look, hear me and hear, is this thing on me? It is on you, Is brother. this thing on me? It is and on so, you, brother. As soon as, as soon as your kids are out for recess, as soon as your kids are out for recess, and they come back in for nap time, they can take you to court for child support. The moment, the moment that you, oh, it's, look, no, no, look, no, 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 but as soon, as soon as she gets them double lines on that shit. As soon as the pregnant, as soon as the pregnancy test goes as soon, through, look, right? Yes, as soon as, as soon as she gets the double lines on that shit. If this bill is passed, she can take you to court and start getting child support right then and there. Mm. Yep. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. So, I have a couple things about uh-huh. that. But chop up this plan B and her goddamn eggs. Motherfucker was going to be grinding that shit like you make a guacamole or some shit. <laughs> Make a table side guacamole and shit at that motherfucker. Yeah. Goddamn. You want some guac, baby? You want some guac, baby? Hey, hold on. Hold on. She, she like, she like, baby, what you got a taste for tonight? You know what? This is some Mexican. This is some Mexican. This is some Mexican. You know, I thought, I thought we get some Mexican. Like, you know, some, no, no. Some, uh, some, uh, what is it? What they call it? Some, uh, like some Puerto Rican tacos. <laughs> some birria. Some, some birria. Birria. Some birria tacos with the little, little, with the broth on the side. But you know what? Oh, yeah. I want to, look, I want to start out. I want to start out with some homemade guac. Homemade guac. Homemade guac. I got the you know, special seasoning, baby. You know, special seasoning. It may be a little tangy, but you'll get it. But you'll get it. <laughs> but you'll get it. <laughs> you'll get it. Jeff says sprinkle that bitch like seasoning. Look, hey. And it, <laughs> motherfucker think you sprinkle that bitch like salt bay on it. Hey. <laughs> ah. Ah. Uh, I've never seen anything blue in uh, guac before. Oh, don't worry about it. That's a new form of, that's a new onion. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new onion. That's a new onion. <laughs> <laughs> it's an exquisite onion, baby, from Ecuador. Oh, my God. You need to just have it. It's going to do you wonders, baby. It is. Just have it. Now, I, I feel some type of way about that. Yo. Okay. So, you telling me that when the lines go blue, right, my, at that hey, point. At that, at that fucking point, at bro. At that point. Yes. You can, at that point, you can go. And get child support. Yeah. Right? That, like, that's what it's saying? Yeah. Regardless, uh, because there's also situations where there's women that don't know who the father is. Yep. Right? So, you're just going to go pin it on somebody. Now, give me a look. Give me an asymptomatic type chick. Like, <laughs> so you don't know. <laughs> you don't know that you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people. Forgive me today. <laughs> Oh shit! Asymptomatic. So look, hey, they give me a couple months. They give me some months. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> sound like a wild and shit. So, I just <laughs> so now there's there's two ways that I think this bill can go. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
One way is, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. It's going to be on the side of the woman. The wo- there's going to be some women like everything else. Like everything else, they're going to take this. They're going to take this bill and they're going to run. Oh, they're going to run all the way. They're going to run all the way with it. Go force. Go force. Right. I hope that the men that if this bill is passed, all right, if this bill is passed, I hope that men get smarter as to who they're shooting the club up with. Okay. Hey. I really hope so, right? And listen, man, I, 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 I'm an advocate for it. I'm an advocate for the vasectomy. I'm an advocate for, and the reason I'm an advocate for the vasectomy is because you can control that. You right? can. You can control that. And there's nothing better. I've heard several stories from partners that have been like, yo, you know, my girl, or not my girl, my this chick told me that she was pregnant, right? And he was like, well, it can't be mine. And she was like, no, it is yours. Like, she fought him tooth and nail. Mm-hmm. It is yours. It is yours. He popped out his papers like, I got a vasectomy, so there's no way that that could be mine, right? Mm-hmm. And so in doing that, right, I think you have more control, guys, you do. of what you can do in, in, in that standpoint. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. Now, if you not now, if you don't, if you don't get snipped or you haven't got snipped, I can have you know I have an alternative for you. If you really you know must uh, you know clap them cheeks, here you go. <laughs> you bring your own knife to a gunfight. See, <laughs> you bring your own knife, fellas. Do not leave it up to her to get the goddamn condoms. Do or none not. of that shit. Do not. Do not. Listen. I understand. She like to do tricks. She's spinning that whatever at that and put right. the shit on with her fucking mouth. I get it. I get it. I get it. Fuck that. You put the shit on yourself. Yes. You know? Have your own. Have your own. You can look look, hey, you have your own. You control the strokes. Yes. You control all that shit. Now Absolutely. Now, now, I know I know how good that shit feels. <laughs> when you uh when you bust inside. You know, there was a great song in the nineties, you know. <laughs> Pushing inside of you. <laughs> Sounds a fuck. No there limit. You go. There you go. But, you know, it, it is okay. It is okay to bust inside the condom, outside of her. It is okay. And then. Okay. I was about to say something else. I really was. Because this is, look, this, this is serious. This is serious. This is serious. Listen, is this thing on me? Yeah, this is on you. Is this thing on me? It's on you. Look. <laughs> Listen, I can't hold it together, y'all. Fuck the, fuck the norm. You go get the goddamn towel this time. You go get the towel. Yes. You go get the towel with the condom still on you. I go in the fucking bathroom. I take the shit off. I put it up under the faucet. I run water through it. I run water through it. I really swear we all live the same life. Look, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That ain't it. That ain't it. I, I swear that we live the same life. That ain't it. Then I start singing uh, old hymnals, you know. Wait in the water, cause I dope that shit in the fucking toilet, and I flush it. <laughs> ain't look, ain't, ain't shit. And then now, 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 if you must, if you must, if you must increase your bust. <laughs> 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 I know, bro. If you must, if you look, if you look, if you mu- if you look, if you send my trusted chick, and you look, you must go raw, whatever like that. Make sure. Sugar plums are dancing, please. On her tongue. That's it. Let me if she swa- if she swallowed the shit, she can't. All right, this is over your head. That, all right, so they're not ready. Like, <laughs> they're not I, ready. I, I really swear we all live the same life because that was that was damn near my same ritual. Yo. Right? It was it was if I got when I got done, I'm going to the bathroom immediately. Yeah. Right, pulling the condom off, putting it up under the faucet. Make sure ain't no leaks running in the it. water. In, I'm drying the the bottom of it. Make sure there's no leaks in oh, it. Are you right? drying? Oh hell yeah! I would take a washcloth. Fuck it, look, I'm about to say, right? Look, fuck the drying. I'm just, I'm just seeing if I get a drip out. Oh no, nah. I would dry it because, like, if you run the water, sometimes water may spill on the outside. I got you. So I would dry it right, and then I would, with the towel, with the mm-hmm. washcloth, a dry washcloth. I would spin it, and then I would, with the washcloth, I would squeeze it, and see if there was any drips. Mm-hmm. No drips. Listen. Toilet. Done. Listen, listen. Clearly, it's working for me because I have I have a friend. Shout out to Tuck, Jamil Tuck. Every Father's Day, he comes and he's like, I don't understand how you are still <laughs> without a kid. I don't understand. You know, I do. I do. And it's a great thing that us athletes always said, you know, as far as basketball-wise, you know, we prepare, we do our work early. That's it. That is all. 
Speaking of doing your work early and basketball, yeah, that was, shit was loud as fuck. <laughs> Yo, speaking of doing your work, speaking of doing your work early, ah, <sighs> BG, Brittany Griner, oh, got a fucking update, got a fucking update, and I'm sorry I had to do this shit. I'm sorry I had to do this shit. <sighs> Fire everybody you got on your goddamn staff, Brittany. Fire everybody you have on your fucking staff. So, everybody, okay, so the update, you know, and let's bring a little backstory. So, Brittany Griner has been over in Russia prison, in a Russian prison for about 150 days. You know, 150, 160 days by now. Correct. Uh, she has pled guilty. She has sent letters. Her and her wife have sent letters to, the, you know, to, to Joe Byron <laughs> and Kamala. You know, trying to get her, you know, you know, extradited. Not the SAT word. Trying to get her back over to the U.S. If they ain't the most nigga staff that Listen, I've ever, we've hey, ever dealt with. I'll put something on it. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden. Facts. I'll put something on it. I'll put something on it. Yo, okay, so, and the last thing, la last thing we updated was that she had pled guilty. Mm -hmm. She had pled guilty. Well, <sighs> the fucking nigga them that's going on in, in, in this bullshit. Boy. Yeah, she pled guilty. She pled guilty. She did. But her and her lawyer told told told, told the judge in the court. She had a doctor's note for the uh, for the weed. She had a. Okay, you know, at this point, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right, let's talk about it. All right, so at this point, right, let's, let's he had a doctor's note, right? A doctor's note. Okay, at this point, right, we're talking about a doctor's note, all right? So see, hold on. now all of a sudden oh, there's man. a doctor's note. Hold on. Okay? Hold on. Hold on. The fucking doctor's from Arizona. <laughs> Doc, see, this is the, see, this what is the, the thing we're about? talking about. Oh, shit. This is what we'd be talking about oh. when it comes to black people, like, and it's stupid shit like this. Right? <laughs> it's stupid shit like this, right? So we six months into this, right? We six months into this, into this whole debacle. I can't fucking do it, bro. We six I months in, okay? And you know what? And you know what makes me even more mad? We're over here printing up T-shirts. Yo, what's up, nigga? We're over, <laughs> we're over here printing up T-shirts. We're over here saying if this was LeBron, she would be here. Yo. If this was a whole bunch of other things, she would be here, Hold and up. this shouldn't be happening. Up, <laughs> and so now all of a sudden, you have a doctor's note. A fucking stomach hurt, bro. From Phoenix, Arizona. Okay? You have a doctor's oh. note oh, from shit. Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, my God. Saying that it was prescribed to you. I'm crying. Okay? First of all, Bruh, <laughs> where was this doctor six months ago? Hold on, fuck that. How the fuck you think a doctor from Arizona is going to get you extradited with a goddamn doctor's note and you're fucking in Russia? And you're in Russia. <laughs> you're in Russia. Okay? You're in Phoenix, Arizona. Hold on. I'm sorry, Martin. <laughs> I'm sorry, Martin. I just didn't want to go to Arizona. Yo, I'm in fucking tears right now. Yo, no, seriously. Seriously, bro, seriously. What? Oh, my God. Yo, a fucking doctor's note from Arizona. A doctor's note from Arizona? Yo, your ass is in Moscow. You <laughs> <laughs> You in the USSR. Not the USA. USSR. SSR. <laughs> and you got a note? From Phoenix, Arizona? Phoenix, Arizona. What, a downtown is three streets? Oh, shit. And Bruh. you thought that you was going to get off? Bruh. From Phoenix. <laughs> from Phoenix? <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona? Look, look. Bitch, this ain't even New York, New York. That shit don't travel international. I'm sorry. You're talking about Phoenix, Arizona? Hold on. You got to get a separate plan with your, with your phone provider to, like, to, like, to operate in international waters. I just hey, you talking about <laughs> <laughs> Look, hey, you have to call your service provider and tell your service provider I'm going overseas. Yo, hey, I'm going overseas. Fuck that. I'm gonna be a cowboy. That's right around the goddamn corner. 
That's around the corner. Nigga, I'm going to Jamaica. That is around the corner. And I'm going across the street, I'm across going, the wall. I'm going to Puerto Rico. That shit is down the goddamn street. And you, and we talking about Moscow. Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> Moscow. Moscow. <sighs> Moscow. We talking about How? Moscow. How? <laughs> and you thought that you was going to get, <laughs> you thought you was going to get an urgent care note? <laughs> <laughs> you thought you was going to get an urgent care note oh, shit. from a doctor in Phoenix, Arizona? Oh, man. Yo, hey, that Russian lawyer, that Russian lawyer, that Russian lawyer is looking like Gilbert Arrange. Hey, one, four flat. I'm finna look, I'm finna ISO this shit. <laughs> ISO this shit. Clear out. Hey, clear, hey, hey, clear, hey, clear, clear out. Mouse in the house, clear out. Clear, clear out. out. Clear I got clear this out. Look who's on me. I got this shit. Clear it out. Yo, a fucking doctor's note, bro. <laughs> and you know what's bad? I feel like. <laughs> See, you already know where I'm going with it. No, who's that? Oh shit! I feel like the doctor uh, note. I feel like the doctor's note said this, right? Uh, this was the verbiage for the doctor's note. Oh shit! The doctor's note said. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor's note said, "Patient Brittany Griner." Oh fuck! Patient Gr Brittany Griner <laughs> is allowed to use medicinal. Right, medicinal marijuana from the dates of <laughs> four days before she went and it got caught. No, 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 hold on. To now, to no. the end of August. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got a doctor's note for some shit that ain't even fucking legal. It ain't. The foreign country. <laughs> hold on, hold on. The question is, did she get that shit notarized? <laughs> Did a wife go to the notary? Did a wife go to the notary and say, hey. <laughs> hey, can you postmark this shit? Can you postmark it? <laughs> yeah, sure. When would you like it post? About six, seven <laughs> months from now, seven months prior to today's date. Uh, just think, oh, my God. I feel like the story is getting worse. It is. Okay. Because I'm going to throw this little monkey wrench in there, too. The boxer, Roy Jones Jr., he came out and said he has a dual visa. And so he's a citizen in U.S., and he's also a citizen in Russia. He said he'll do a prisoner exchange, and he will take her place in the prison. Roy Jones Jr. said that he would do that because he has dual citizenship in USA. And in Russia, he said that he would take a prisoner exchange and get Brittany out, and he would go in. Mm. He said it. Mm. Mr. Bodyhead himself. Mm. I'll just leave it at this. He smoked his drink. I'll just leave it at this. Christians believe that God gives his strongest battles to his. To He's his supposed family. to fight, but he can't. Just for little, little, she need to go through it. All right. <laughs> I, I can't. Yo, that, look, that, just take, that just takes the fucking cake. Do y'all understand what I got to do with my cake. brother? Like, this Yo, is what I got to do with fucking cake. All right. That ain't even fucking midweek minute. Mind <laughs> you. Let's get to it. Look, let's get to this shit. Let's get to this shit. Roll with it. All right. So, not rude as chicken? No. <laughs> let's give that business away. All right. There we go. <laughs> Oh, if y'all can see this fucking picture. This All picture right. just says enough. All right, so. Shit. So, you know, growing up. Uh, now I got to give y'all the backstory. So, growing up, you know, we used to do certain things, you know. Hey, you look, look. Yeah, this y'all like that. Look, we, used to, look, we used to nigga knock. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, look, yeah, that yeah. I love that is when you knocked on you knocked on yeah. somebody's door and then you just ran. You just ran. And hoped that they didn't open up the door to see you. Yeah. You know. Oh, Why was that a game? I don't know, bro. We what was fun? Was it the thought of getting caught? Yeah. Was it, the what was it? it? The thrill, the thrill of, of it. it. Like, we what were, was it about we were just that game? Bored and shit. Yeah. That's it. So you got that. You also had like you know you used to do shit and run from the fucking cops. Yeah. You know. Uh, uh, it's, I mean, you used to play hide and go seek. 
Hide and go get it. Hide and go get it. But there was one thing that we used to do, bro. You know that. I mean, I think everybody's done it every once in a while. You were just starving and you were hungry. Yeah. And you know you didn't have the means to pay for your food. Uh, there's a lot of people that's like that right now with this inflation. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah. we used to call this. We used to call this thing. Is dine and ditch. Talk to me. Yes, we used to dine and ditch, bro. You know. Yeah. I did this shit once. I did that. I twice. I did it twice. Three times a lady. But the shit, the bitch, shit came back on me when I taught her to be a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> and I was fucking pissed, but I couldn't get mad because I was like, I did Listen, it. Listen, hey, hey, you know? gro groin pants. Yeah, Everybody did it. I had to. I had to. I understood it. Now, said down the ditch. This shit takes the fucking cake, though. Uh oh. All right. <clears throat> on Monday, a family of six stopped by a Waffle House in Shelby, North Carolina, to eat before they robbed it. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of threw, just, just going to throw that out there like just that? Just going to throw that out there, bro. Just throw that out there. <laughs> so this family of six <clears throat> went in for some, for some all-star breakfasts, for some, for some all-stars. <laughs> I need my eggs, scrambled hard with cheese. I need sausage, double sausage. <laughs> you know, I need waffles, not grits. I need hash browns <laughs> with the works, smothered, you know. Um, and I need raisin toast. That's what I need. I need some OJ, you know, and tea on the side. I need six of those. I need six. I need six Shit. of those. Six, bro. Yeah. These, look, this family, this family went in. Went to the Waffle House, bro. Six. So six of them. Family six. Family six. So mother, father, and four kids. What the food they eat? Mother, father, mother, father, four kids. Four kids. Got food. Order food. They ate. When it's time to leave, hey baby, you gonna use your nine or am I use my twenty-two? <laughs> <laughs> Get up. All right, we need all the we need all the money in the register. <laughs> Wait. They didn't just ditch. They robbed. They ate and robbed the fucking Waffle House, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they ate and robbed the fucking Waffle House, bro. You heard me right. With their kids? Hey. Apparently, this ain't the first time they did it. Okay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. Just when you think things are getting better. Oh, shit. Just when you think things are getting uh, better. <laughs> this is what you fucking get. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just when you think things are getting okay. Yeah, bro. Apparently, apparently they had the shit worked out because they, after they eat, they get up and act like with the handgun and ask for the, you know, ask for, you know, the waitresses to give them all the money in the register. <laughs> and then they peel off in separate cars. <laughs> <laughs> See, mm -hmm. because all I'm getting is the visual of them pulling off in separate cars. And baby, you get you take Shaniqua and Shaquanda. I will take Dylan and, and and Darren. Hey, no, no, no. You take Darren. He ate too many of them goddamn waffles. <laughs> he ate too many of the waffles. You know how you get gassy. So they have a pistol. They got. They get, well, okay. Let's rewind here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's 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 unpack it. Let's unpack it. Yeah. A little bit here. Let's go. First of all, we're talking about Waffle House here. Yeah. Right. Let's let's talk about that first. Right. Mm -hmm. Where you can get a hundred pounds of food for eight dollars. Yeah. Think about going out after we leave the show. Yep. Yeah, that sounds amazing. So you could get a hundred pounds of food for eight dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. And <laughs> oh, that's me. I'm oh, sorry. I was like, where I'm am sorry. I hearing? I'm like, look, look, we're in the Mandela effect. We're mad. I was like, I know, I ain't. Well, I'm here. Okay, so you can get a hundred pounds of food for eight dollars. Yeah, right. Uh huh. A family of six. Honestly, you can really. That's about forty dollars. Plus tip, yeah. Right, total. Your total could be no more than forty dollars, yeah. right? Depending on the time of day that you try to go rob Waffle House, you ain't gonna get but about one hundred twenty dollars. 
Little of nah. cash out the register. You need to go about two a.m. Like that's when you need to go. That's when everybody go out to clubs. And yes, if you want, if you want to maximize your robbery. Mm-hmm. Now, is this on me? In no way is midweek vibe condoning <laughs> illegal activities. Oh my God! Like, we are not condoning illegal activities. We're just saying be smart. <laughs> dash, don't rob. About what you do, dash. Right. That's dash, what I'm don't saying. Rob. Right. If you want to get away with the forty, just leave with the forty dollars. Don't rob. Don't now you now you upped it to armed robbery. I'm about to say now, 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 now. I mean, my the motherfuckers gonna chase you. Waffle House employees are proficient. They're trained. They're proficient in combat. They're trained in a different <laughs> matter. Come on now, Paul, bro. They are trained in a different matter. Hey, I saw look, any other food service industry I saw, look, restaurant. I saw, I saw a fight video like the other day. A Waffle House employee came came from around the uh, around the car counter with a with a cast iron skillet. Look, dog, I, I understand. <laughs> hey, I understand. I mean, I seen I seen a video of a Waffle House employee. He walked through the door, walked through the door, put his cigarette out before he came in the door. He came in, cracked three eggs. Somebody started talking shit. He said, "Fuck you in this shit," and he threw. Like some waffle mix on them or some shit like that, and was like, "Fuck you, I'll fuck you up," and threw some waffle mix on them. <laughs> and the motherfucker tried to come across the table. He said, "Man, I'll fuck you up," and then threw an egg. And it was like, they don't care. They don't. They don't care. Then turn, look, then turn, then turn around, and be like, like you know, hey, I don't, I don't have to take this shit. I put them in this bullshit. <laughs> like <laughs> hell, fuck, like this, you know. Look, <laughs> Look at that! Look at that fucking work environment over right there. I got look, look. Got to deal with all these fucking crazy people, man. I ain't, look. I ain't gotta take this shit. <laughs> Waffle House has gotta be the most. I ain't gotta deal with this shit. Employee base okay. ever. Speaking of this shit, so I was at Waffle like went to Waffle House one time, like middle of the night, whatever like that. Fuck! Tell you how fucking lazy. This motherfucker did not want to fucking wash dishes, so she gave everybody that was dining in the fucking uh, or the, like to the, the to go uh, containers and shit. With your fucking food. Oh, wow. Bitch, if you don't give me no goddamn plate. If you don't give me this plate, <laughs> I'm sitting here cutting through my waffle and my goddamn plate. Yo, like, she gave everybody the fucking to-go uh, to go uh, containers. But you're going to go back, though. Huh? You're going to go back, though. You're right. <laughs> I, look, look, I emailed her, look. I did, look. I did my due diligence. I emailed corporate. Emailed yeah. corporate on the ass and went back. Absolutely. Went, went back. Now, this this location is right now. I ain't, I ain't sent y'all. Don't, don't, don't tell the location because the location's been having some of the best food. I know. Ever. Shit, it was in Duckville, though. Yes, well, I know. I all right, know. so. I know exactly which one you're talking about, too. 67 in Cocker Hill. Yep, right? that's right. the one. Okay. <laughs> that's the one. Up the street. Uh, yep. Fuck, you're talking right, ac- right across the street from the Papa Dole. Right across from the Papa Dole behind the Valero. Yep, yep that's uh, the one. Oh, right. That's why I go. So I go to the one on Bell Live. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> thirteen and two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, bro! I just feel like if it's if there's not a fight, if there's not somebody smoking, a, if the cook ain't smoking a cigarette, I don't want the food. No, fuck that. I, just, I don't want the food. No, I just go in there or whatever. That no, if the waitress ain't beefing with the fucking cook after she look, as she get up and try to rattle off three goddamn orders. In two seconds, he'd be like, hold on. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, you said what? <laughs> it's best. <laughs> Yo, you ain't never catch that shit. She just, she just like, she's like, on the line. All right, I need three eggs, need look this, <coughs> three egg plates, scrambled cheese, blah, blah, blah. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't put down the three sausage plates yet. Hold on. <laughs> he tried to get, hey, and then she oh, turned around. Shit. Because <laughs> it's never... Is never the one that's working waffles. It's always the one that's working the the, the skillet and the griddle. Yo. The one that's cooking everything. He's hey. cooking the, the hash browns. Hey. He's cooking the sausage. He's cooking the eggs. He's yeah. cooking everything. It's, it's always a teenager that's working the waffles. <laughs> and so they're the only ones that's cooking out the bucket, coming out the bucket, and they pouring the waffle mix hey. onto the waffle Hold waffle on. maker. This is what you hear. Look, Jeff laughing because he know that. This is what you hear. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 
And he dirty as fuck. Look. And then she looked like, I'm just saying, we got the order. He's like, look, 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 look. You fuck with me right now. It is. And, <laughs> fuck with you. and it's the manager. She always want to say, well, we got all these people waiting. <laughs> and, and this was the realest comment that I've ever heard from one of the cooks. <laughs> She said, she tried to come back with him. He was like, hold on. He said exactly what you said. He said, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, all right. You said eggs? And she was like, no, I'm trying to get the order to. We always, we got these people waiting. He turned around and said, with the skillet in his head, we always got fucking people waiting. (laughs) (laughs) That was his comment. We always got fucking people waiting. It's either that or the other real, the the other real, the the other real statement that I've I've heard in the Waffle House, bro. It's just sitting up, and you hear motherfuckers talking about, man, I mean, like, you know, can, can we get some service? Like, I've been trying to order blah, blah, blah. And the waitress over there by us, whatever like that. She leaned up. She was like, that ain't my section. That ain't my <laughs> section. <laughs> y'all section. Y- y'all yeah. table 102. I got yeah. 104 to 103. That ain't my section. That ain't my section. <laughs> Them the twos over there. I ain't got to deal with <laughs> I ain't got to deal with the two section over there. Mm-mm. Yo. Lindsay, yeah. you. No? Okay. But it's that statement. Hold on. Hold on. I ain't got the three sauces placed down here. From, the cook. <laughs> it's from that cook, man. It is from that cook. Hey, next time any y'all go in the Waffle House, <laughs> you got to do these things, right? It's like a Waffle House etiquette that you just got to do. Yo. You got to listen to the, your waitress, yes. right? Listen to your waitress and how she communicates, and then just listen to the cook, mm-hmm. right? Listen to the cook. Okay, <laughs> that was supposed to have grits. And then fuck wh- you didn't tell me. <laughs> 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 fuck you didn't tell me that the shit was supposed to have grits. I just sat here and put oatmeal down, and you said it was supposed to be Hold grits. On. I've been calling for the get stuff from the stuff from the f- fucking beginning. What's the, what, what is it? Is it an all star? Is it ain't? You, well, look, hold on, you know, hold on. You know, like when they call it, they don't never say all star nothing like that. Mm-mm. It's always. I need two. Look, I need three. Well, I need three whatever plates. I need eggs scrambled hard with cheese. I need sausages. I need blah blah blah. Like. And look, hold, hold on. And he know what he know every fucking thing. He know it he all. He go out and pull twenty four eggs out, sure. seven seven pieces of bacon, <laughs> nine sausages. <laughs> hey, he pull a whole bag of hash browns out and make seven of them motherfuckers. And know every guy. I like look, look. You are my fucking hero. You are. <laughs> and why we've never questioned this? The eggs are never refrigerated. Never. Okay. The, the 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 fucking cheese is never refrigerated. The hash browns is nothing is ever refrigerated. Listen, and all he clean he cleaned the goddamn uh look, look, the, the long ass spatula. He just slide it up against the grill <laughs> and put it back over. The <laughs> Get this nigga away from me. But you know what? <laughs> I'm about to say. But you know what? You know what? Waffle House is the hibachi of the South. It's 100 percent the hibachi of the it South. It is the hibachi of the and South. Look, and for mo- look, and for yep. mo- and for motherfuckers that say they don't want to eat at Waffle House, whatever that, but y'all eat at hibachi or whatever, they do the same goddamn shit. They do the same thing. No, it's more sanitary. No, they do the same goddamn shit. No, they do the same thing. That's it. It is the exact same thing, just without the cuss words and the pretty little. That's it. The pretty little theatrics. And the white people fighting themselves at three o'clock in the morning. That's it. Look, look, hey, the best food to eat at 3 a.m., facts, Jeff. Man, after every club session, it was one or three places that we was, or one or two places, really. It's just depending on, you know, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna throw you back. Hopefully, hopefully I remember the name of the, of the spot. Yeah, I got you. So it was one of three places that we would go after the club. It was Waffle House was one, right? It was mm-hmm. Waffle House was one. Yeah. These three came up in the conversation. Waffle House was one. Mm-hmm. IHOP was the other. Mm. Right? Mm. I'm finna throw them back. Well, two spots. Cafe Brazil. Oh, yeah. Cafe. I was waiting on that one. Cafe Brazil and Chaucer's. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Yeah. Motherfuckers don't know about Chaucer's. <laughs> don't know. Y'all know about that shit. I don't know about that shit. Chaucer's, baby. I don't know about that shit. I can give me a good old combination fried rice at 3 o'clock in the morning. Say, man. Be on up out the door. <laughs> Say, man. Look, oh, shit. Look, Chad said, uh, <laughs> ew, I hop got roaches. <laughs> shit, what I hop you go to? Shit, I would always go to one on 75. Look, 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 I don't know where you going with it. I don't know which one you went to. I would go to the one on 75. I hop, I hop, I hop, I went to had the Baja Blast. <laughs> the, the, the Baja Blast. You know, the, the Baja Blast. Yo, like, look, you know what? Matter of fact, a lot, look, a lot of these fucking restaurants had like, you know, rodents running around there. They did, and then we still ate at them bitches because the shit was good. We listen, might have ate the rodents too, but listen, I look, hey, you talking about look, dining ditch? 
Okay, quick story. I was so fucking glad one time. So we went, no, 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 no. Look, not on purpose. Not okay. on purpose. Okay. It was an act of God. It was an act of God. Because we looked, we went went to Cheddar's. Went to Cheddar's. Oh. And, okay. you know, I'm not going to say the fucking location, you know, but it's Hampton. in the, but it's in the south, in DeSoto. Hampton. I'm not going to say the fucking location. But. 20 in Hampton. Hold on, but, you know, we were sitting there over at that. Look, look, the chef, chef came out like he normally does, and hey, is everything okay? Yeah. You guys, uh-huh. you, know, is, you know, you guys enjoying yourself? Is the food? Yes, yes, the food. I said, look, I see a woman. <laughs> <coughs> she jump up. Hey, she jump up like she doing box jumps, bro. She jump up. I see this little rodent running across the floor. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. I look, look, hey, I looked at, look, I looked at my people who I was with. I said, listen, God damn it. Listen. Listen to me. Like I, pause. Like I, listen to me. Listen to me. You follow suit, God damn it. As black people, when we see somebody run, fuck, we run. Everybody and ask run. person later. Yep. Grab your shit. You run, let's I go. Run. Yep. At the fucking front door, God damn it. We yeah, we're to, all going. I'm look, taking my food with me, though. We, look, we ain't pay for shit. I'm taking my food with me, though. Couldn't even have time to have something to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take three fries. Like... What does it uh, say? I'm taking something. Hey, I ran out. Look, I ran out I'm with taking a, something. I ran out with a chicken strip on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Cheddar's has the Yo, largest listen, pause listen, listen, of listen, any pause. sit down. So, so my meal used to be my meal used to be the chicken strips and fries. Yeah. I need a big ass. I need a big ass bowl of honey mustard. They honey mustard was on point. Lick, yo, sir. A big ass bowl of honey mustard, mm. and then and then I turn around. I need a cooking monster before I go. This boy. I need a cooking monster. He said the cooking monster. Yeah. See, see it's fruit cookie. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I had the hack though for hey, the cooking monster though. Did you? I had the hack though. <laughs> Right, we yeah. fucking hungry as shit. Right, we now. are. We just hungry right now at this <laughs> point. Like, this whole show been about food, so that got. <laughs> so I got the hack, right? No. The hack is instead of because it comes with honey with, with peanuts. Pause. Pause. Comes with peanuts. I never got those. You didn't? No. I would tell him to throw on. Pause. Pause. I mean, there's nowhere to say nuts and anything. Pause, but. I would tell them to put on, pause, the honey roasted pecans, pause, pause, right, and it would just kick it up a notch. Pause. Oh shit. Yeah, man, get the Cookie Monster with two scoops of ice cream with a little bit of Fuck. chocolate. I'm nowhere near fucking cheddar. And <laughs> then you know we were just gonna have thirty five. Oh shit, <laughs> yo, like no, sis, you you had to get a fucking uh, Cookie Monster. You had to get the you, Cookie Monster, man. You had to get that shit. You know, you had to get the cookie monster. Yes, man. look, look. She said yes to uh, Cafe Brazil. Cafe Brazil had rodents too. They did, especially the one on seventy five. No, no, no. So there's the one downtown. How you think the one on deep out, the one in uh, off of Elm Street? How you think that dry ass turkey bacon came out so like fucking fast? Shit. <laughs> they oh. had the best fucking French toast ever. I don't know, bro. Ever. I don't know. That was my meal. Like, if I went to Cafe Brazil after any spot, it was the fresh toast meal, eggs, and a side of bacon. Yeah. Right. Side of bacon. But the spot that we used to go to that that shut down, Buzz Brews. Oh, yeah, Buzz Brews. It shut down? Yes. I tell you, like, I don't, you know, I make that shit at the fucking crib now. Yeah, you can. But, I yeah, feel, like, Buzz Brews. Yeah, fuck. Buzz Bruce. Buzz Bruce was the spot, but it shut, shut down now. But yeah, but that was the late night spot. All right, I'm hungry. All right, so you, look, you <laughs> facts. Want, you want to get to the Twitter thoughts? Yeah, let's get to Twitter thoughts. Let's get to the Twitter thoughts. I'm fucking hungry, like seriously. Hungry to the both. <laughs> I ain't smoking. I ain't smoking that neither. Shit, we just got the munchies out of no fucking way. <laughs> we, just got, we, we just sat here and talked about food and niggas just and got <laughs> hungry. Kitchen the cocktails is downstairs. It is downstairs, right? Nah. And some black excellence is down there, so we. Nah, I ain't trying to spend a hundred today. Yeah, not. <laughs> on some fish and grits. <laughs> you only got fifteen minutes to eat. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the truth. <laughs> we got to turn this table. <laughs> it's the truth. We got to turn this table. You put the time on your ass. Yeah, I ain't got that much longer. Huh? <laughs> What's the movie? What's the movie with uh with Samuel Jack Clockers? Clockers. 
Sit them, look. Any, any motherfucker you think is the best, sit them down here. I put the <laughs> clock on their ass. I put the clock on their ass. <laughs> Ain't got long, but the clock on their ass. <laughs> I put the clock on their ass. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Well, that's where we at. So we got our Twitter thoughts. Our Twitter thoughts is, is where I find a crazy story, right? And we do what everybody does. Okay? And let's go to the comments. We go to the comments, and we find the craziest thing that's going on in the comments. Okay? So this week's story. All right, so for anybody that knows, right, for anybody that knows, this is one. What's up, Mo? What's up, brother? I'm going to call you later, dog. What's up, brother? So this is for anybody that is right here in Dallas, Texas. I brought this Twitter thoughts right here to our home, to our backyard. And mind you, where we are right now, this is happening really right across the street, okay? So this story right here. Oh fuck, I saw. <laughs> so this story right here. So this young man, right? He thought that it was really cool to jump on the, um, I think it's the Margaret Hatcher Bridge. All right, so everybody that can see it. He decided that he wanted to jump and do this little cool slide across the Margaret whatever bridge, and then do a backflip into the Trinity River. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you're either from Dallas, all right. So if you're either from Dallas or you grew up in Dallas, you understand. You got family that's in Dallas. They got family in Dallas. You understand what the Trinity River is about. Okay. You understand that there could be some bodies floating in there. You understand that there's a lot of things that go on down there at the Trinity River. You understand that the Trinity River is not a spot. That you go and just dive into like you at the Maldives. Listen. All right? Listen. It is not that. Listen. Listen. Oh. Go ahead, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you've, look, if you've ever been stuck in traffic on a good week morning, whatever, you look, look, you Speak got, it. You got a smell that comes to your gut. Oh, <laughs> boy. You got, a, you got a smell that comes to your damn, uh, your damn air conditioner. If you didn't, just alley-oop it. All right? So we dove right into the comments. This young man right here, he took a backflip and he dove right into the Trinity River. Yeah. Okay. Dove right into the Trinity River. So I was like, oh, I know this is going to be amazing worth the comment. So the first comment <laughs> was <laughs> next day. Roland Trujillo, T Roro 711. The next day, <laughs> they're going to look at right. <laughs> He's turned into a skeleton to turn to beer juice on that motherfucker, right? <laughs> the next one, Ashley, Trixie76717 says, Tell me you're not from Dallas without telling me. <laughs> Yo. We all know. Hey. We all know this is something you don't You do. ain't trying to get none of the Trinity on you. You ain't trying to get none of the Trinity on you. No at part. Oh. No pun intended to you, Christian. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended to you, Christians. <laughs> Trying to get none of the Trinity on you. <laughs> I do this every week with him. Every week. Yo, I'm kind of quick on these fucking. <laughs> every week. Every week I do this with him, y'all. No pun intended. Every week I do this with him. No pun okay. intended. So the next one, <laughs> just like my brother said, all right, he said you get a smell. <laughs> Bobby by the pound said you can smell this water on the highway with the windows Yo. rolled up. Hold on, you were looking at your guy. Look, you were looking at your counterpart. You were looking at your counterpart in the fucking car, like nigga. Did you fart? Did, is that you? The fuck is it? Like what? The did you eat something? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, no, it's that. Hold on. No, it's that breath. It's that breath you got left out there. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you stank. <laughs> you don't smell that? The fuck? Nigga, you know it's the fucking Trinity. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> get the. Niggas start having distrust issues. Hey, <laughs> real. Every fucking morning you say this shit, bro. We, run, we go through the same goddamn air. That is not me. That ain't me, dog. Every time you do this shit, dog. 
Every time, yo, no. So and, and and for people like that shit is the fucking worst when you move to the suburbs and yes. then like hold on, and it's that one time like you look, you ain't you ain't been that been through that shit in a while, and you got to drive through downtown. Oh man, you, look, you gotta you gotta hit that like that that thirty five, thirty five north, that thirty five north, and then look, and that shit look. It's about seven eighteen when the shit is deployed. <laughs> Niggas hit that thirty five north or that thirty east. Oh you're shit! Like, what is that? What is that? Because you don't know. It's the Trinity. And then the last one. <laughs> Paul Walmart says, homie that got the hep- hepatitis A through. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> I, look, when I saw, look, when I saw this fucking video, bro, when I saw this video, and I saw, look, I saw him in oh. the, I saw him in the fucking water, and my homegirl was like, yo. No, he fucking no, he don't fucking know that shit is biohazard. I said he's the Joker now. He's the Joker now. <laughs> he's the Joker now. He's the Joker now. Oh my! Look, she, look, Chad said, but why? Why is it stink though? Great question. You know, you know, and uh, of all the years that we've grown up and been here, right? Of all the years we've grown up and been here, right? I really can't honestly tell you exactly why. Ain't nobody filtered this goddamn water through. No, listen, no. listen. But what's crazy though, dog? There's a Trinity River Authority. Yeah. So how the fuck have they not filtered this water? Or they have filtered something. It ain't that river. <laughs> <laughs> that money is being filtered. <laughs> Yo, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Laundered. Listen, listen. We learned at an early age how, pre- how precipitation. Yeah. Say, say that shit three times in a row. Try. We all know how precipitation works. Yes. And how, like, the circle of life of water goes. Can we talk about it? You mean to tell me? You mean to tell me on the third day he mm-hmm. rose, but it, never mind. So I'm sorry. I came with you. <laughs> oh, sorry. But the, the cycle. The cycle. I can't the shit ain't you. clean. It, it, the, the fucking cycle. The shit ain't clean. As much rain as it hap- as that, that happens listen, here in Dallas. Listen. Right. And what's even worse is that that oh. whole little area is designed look, to catch water. Hold on. Look, I don't want to go here, but Jeff just said, like, filtered out bodies. <laughs> hey. Hey. They don't call it the home of the first 48 for nothing. <laughs> I ain't want to say that. <laughs> oh. Y'all know the first 48 start here in Dallas. Okay. Chad said do better, Dallas. Dallas ain't doing fucking better. They not. They, they not, not doing fucking better. Tri- triple D. The tri- That's why it's called <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> That's why it's called Triple D. Dirty. D- <laughs> it's like Dirty. D- dirty. D- yes. Mm-hmm. Like. Yep. yep, Triple D. Like, come on, man. Mm-hmm. And I mean, and that water actually showed you exactly what it was. Yeah. So, the shit is green. It's green. The shit is forest green. It is green. The shit is green. Like, and you know what's, what's even crazy is that nobody, <laughs> nobody from Dallas ever says that we have a river in Dallas. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Hell no. Mm mm. Only river, only river we associate is the Red River Rivalry. Is the Red River? <laughs> that is That's it. it. That is it. Look, look. Now his ass. And that bitch is an hour away. And his look. His ass gonna be in an interview or whatever, tweaking like uh, smoking. Like nobody, <laughs> nobody tell me. Nobody tell me that uh, that the water, you know, <laughs> would transform me the way that it did. Motherfucker gonna pop up like the mask. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking, smoking. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh shit! Someone needs to check and see what what elements he's experiencing. Oh hey, shit! Oh. I forgot about these comments oh, already. Oh, he no. Oh, well, he gonna die. He he look, yes. See what elements he's experiencing today, yeah, it's 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 gonna hey, be tough. Hey, no, he look, he's fast forward. He's look, he's look, with with his fashion forward. We can't say that shit. But he look, he he's figured out. He's figured out the cure to the COVID. Hey, I'm sorry, look, fuck to to the jab. <laughs> he's figured out the cure to the jab. <laughs> Dive into Trinity. <laughs> Dive into Trinity. It's cure oh. to the jab. Oh man. I just, you know, <laughs> the only thing about it, the only thing about it when you dive in this shit, the shit got, the shit get in your system. 
I was getting these sisters. He had no <laughs> goggles. He had no no protection. No scuba gear. Or oh, nothing. I don't look. I don't care if you do. Look, like, I don't care if you do like some little scary ass children and hold your nose and, and, and cover your mouth. <laughs> look, your whole Every fucking body's going in there. Your whole, yeah, your whole body. Look, so once once you release, it shits in my lip. Shits on my lip. <laughs> Motherfucker walk around with bump bumps. <laughs> a bum bump. A bum bump. Motherfucker got bum bumps. Yo. He got bum bumps everywhere. <laughs> oh my God, yo. That shit, like, how the. F- he did it. He took a backflip. All for like. In the Trinity. In the, in the fucking Trinity. All for the ground. In the fucking Trinity. Not Joe Poole. Not Joe. <laughs> at least. <laughs> see. I almost pushed some shit. Like, at least. Not Joe Poo. At least you would understand, right? You know, you got two large bodies of water, right? Either to the west of you, east of you, you got Lake Ray Hubbard, mm-hmm. which is up north toward Rowlett. And then you got Joe Poo Lake, which mm-hmm. is south. Yeah. And you can jump in there. There's beaches there. What's the, look, what's the shit that's right off White Rock? And you got White Rock. This you motherfucker. Have- Three? This motherfucker picked the Trinity. He p- <laughs> <laughs> this nigga put the this nigga picked the hood of waters. Oh my god! He put the hood of the waters. It's the hood of it. of the <laughs> of the bodies of waters. He picked the hood exactly to go in. Man, nigga picked a bun ton of waters. He put. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. I'm nigga, sorry. I love y'all. Nigga put the coma of waters. I love y'all. Nigga picked the uh, the stop six of waters. <laughs> Put the combo of water. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucker put the Pleasant Grove on oh, I was about to say that shit. <laughs> Let me move this fucking cup before I fuck something else up. <laughs> he picked the Pleasant Grove of, co- of bodies of water. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> now watch how this motherfucker get a little wide look in the next coming in the next coming weeks. Oh man. Ne- next coming weeks, if he got a shag and he uh <laughs> <Y'all were> <laughs> <laughs> and he look start detail boogieing on y'all start bitch ass, yeah. boogieing and <laughs> dropping this shit. Like <laughs> oh man, fuck! Let's get to this goddamn question, bro. Y'all yeah, wonder? I'm glad. I'm glad we got some little. We got some. We got some opinionated people on here right now. Let's rock into this. I need some fucking stories. All right, so you know we haven't done a question in a while, and so uh, I want to. I want to pose this question. If someone asks you out, if someone asks you out on a date, oh, what's an excuse you might give if you weren't interested? If someone asks you out on a date, what's an excuse you might give if you were not interested? Now, ladies, you cannot use this whole bullshit ass line talking about I gotta wash my head at night. We need some real fucking responses. On some excuses that you've given that you did not want to go. Okay. <laughs> I'll start. This is perfect. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is a question. This is really good, there, Cobain. This is a really good question. Yeah. So, there was this, this was a young lady. This was maybe about 20 years ago. Uh, about 22 years ago, uh, she was interested in me. She was like, hey, let's go out on a date. Mm-hmm. You know, let's go. Well, she didn't even say a date. She hey, let's go hang out. And I wasn't interested at all. I mean, at all. There was nothing about this woman that I wanted <laughs> to even remotely associate nothing. myself with. Nothing. Right? And me being nice, like, I even tried to be like, ah. I just was like, nah. Nothing. So... She was like, hey, you know, and, and what was even crazier was she was like, hey, I know I'm asking you, so I don't mind, you know, paying for our meal, you know. Like, she she invited me and was even up to paying for my meal. And I was still like, nah. So she was like, hey, it's a great spot, you know. Um, you know, it's a Mexican spot. <laughs> and so... I said, I won't say a name, but I said, ah. <laughs> Not the Will Smith? Yeah, I did. I did. I hit it with the Will Smith. I said, ah. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> She's like, are you? I was like, yeah. 
My favorite food is nachos. <laughs> so, <laughs> yo, for me to turn down Mexican food, like Mexican food, it's go seafood than Mexican food. Okay. Like when it comes to food, yeah. right? Me being a foodie. Seafood than Mexican food is my 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 jam. So I turned it down. I was like, mm, I said, like, ah, I'm like those times. They said, Do you want to go anywhere else? I was like, Nah, you know, I just don't think that, you know, I don't know, you know. Okay, well, just, you know, when you figure it out, just let me know. I never figured it out, and I never called it back, and I just couldn't do it. Yo, I, I told I told this chick that I was lactose intolerant, and my favorite one of my favorite foods is nachos, and not just nachos, but Rotel. Yo, so listen. yeah. So Chad, Chad says like she said, and this is uh, that's so fucked up, Chad. She said, Chad, she said, I got cramps. <laughs> that's tough. It is tough. That's tough. It's very because y'all could really use that, and uh, we wouldn't know. The dude wouldn't know. Like the dude really wouldn't know. Like I mean, of course, me telling that I'm like those intolerant, I wouldn't know. She wouldn't know either. But that's a viable reason, and that would make us feel so bad. Like, if you told us, hey, I'm sorry, I got cramps. Oh, well, just relax, chill. I picked you up a box of uh, extra cinnamon. Is that what you like? <laughs> which one you? <laughs> I got you some Hagen dolls. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> got you all that shit. What you need, babe? What you need? What you need, boy? I got you some Hagen dolls to make things Jeff, better. Jeff said, Jeff said, uh, <laughs> Jeff said, I got my daughter tonight. <laughs> Yo, hey. <laughs> oh man! I, I, I even heard somebody say. I even heard somebody say. Somebody say, "Yeah, um, my dog isn't eating tonight, so I need to care for my dog." <laughs> I said, "You told him that?" I was uh, like, "Yeah, I didn't want to go." Like this was my homegirl. She was like, "I, I just did not want to deal with this dude." And she was like, "I said, my oh, dog." Shit. My dog is not eating, so I need to care for my dog. I'm I trying, said, "Damn." I'm trying to think. Did I ever? That's cold. But I said, "Did I?" Ever, like, I'm trying to think. Did I ever like just do some? Oh. To the point where you weren't in, where you just weren't interested, and and you know honestly, like the shits happened to me, like on the reverse end too. Like I've I've <clears> felt <throat> I've been on both ends of the spectrum. But like I, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Just to, I don't know, man. Just to, I, I can honestly say, like, not not to not to exit the fucking plans. Like, not not go at all? Oh, I'll tell you, look, I'll take this back. I'll take this back. It, look, it ain't never been, it, it ain't never got to the plans. That's the whole thing. Oh. You know? <laughs> it ain't never well, got to the plans. Now, as far as, like, people trying to hook me up. Oh yeah, I gave a mid- like, million fucking excuses and shit. You know, <laughs> a I fucking will not shit. dive into that. I you will know, not. You know where I'm going. I will not <laughs> dive into that you at know, all. You know where I'm going. Look, I didn't give a million fucking excuses. I will not. And to the point where I was like, just, just stop. <laughs> Nigga, I've been single for nine years. Me and my ex tried to get back together. But just we were gonna <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, okay. I remember oh. one time this nigga said, <laughs> I'm not going to name any names or anything. This nigga said, no, nah, this nigga said, you know. <laughs> Yo. He said, you know, <laughs> at this point in my life, I'm working on me. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Because when I'm not sending it, I can't give my all to somebody, you know. So <laughs> I need to take some all by myself. <laughs> I need to give my all to myself. Hey. To be know. able to give to anybody else. And right now. I'm just getting back to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not giving myself my all. Because I don't recognize <laughs> myself <laughs> when I'm looking at myself. <laughs> when I heard that shit, I said, okay. This nigga's good. <laughs> Oh shit. I said, okay. Yo, hey, you gotta put, look, hey, you gotta put this shit real. You know what? I don't even have the mental capacity like, just, to, to, like, to let anybody else into my, into my space right now. <laughs> you know, at this point <laughs> in my life. Oh, see, look, see, I'm Jeff. Not there. See, Jeff said, I've definitely told a few women that I was dating someone to get out of going out, on, going out with them. Yes, 
I oh, just, I've done that. Man, I was single for nine fucking years. Me and my ex, me and my ex, working on. You know, we have some. Done that for you. We have some fundamental things that we need to work on separately. Yeah. Before we. <laughs> I remember I told one girl. I said I'm in between relationships, like I was in between churches. <laughs> <laughs> looking for a new church home. I'm looking for a new church home. I said, I just don't know at this moment right now, boo. Oh my God, yo. I don't know, but golly, man, that's like, I mean, the dating game is so, you know, I've been out of it for years, you know, and it's been so, you know, it's it's so weird, bro. You know, the dating game. Listen, you know what I mean? Where you're trying to get to know somebody. Hey, what's your favorite color? Hey, what do you like to do? Hey, oh, yeah, I do this, I do that. Those first few dates. Hold on, bro. It's a bunch of bullshit. It, look, it, it, it's, very, it's very much. Those first, first few it's dates. It's very much bullshit because everybody gives that fucking representative and they look at me. Hands hold down. on. And they look, look, and they look at yes. me. Yes. And they would look at me. They look, they would. I look, look, yes. Look, I've, I've been out of the dating game for a year now. So, uh. I'm so happy for him. <laughs> I know, bro. I'm so, so happy for him. I just want my brother happy. And he's, uh, this is one of the happiest that I've seen him. Yo. No, so, like, the first, and they would, like, they would look at me like. Well, aren't you comfortable? Shouldn't your ass be? <laughs> Shouldn't you be? <laughs> Shouldn't you be? <laughs> Shouldn't you be? Look, th- look, this is this is me, goddamn it! Like, take yeah. look, take 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 it how you want it. Look, th- look, I am who I am. Either you like it or you don't. Or you don't. <laughs> you know, I come to your house the first fucking time. I'm taking shoes off. I'm the- and look, I'm lounging over at that. You know, hey, you ain't look, you ain't gotta tell me twice. Look, what do you, like, what do you want to drink? What do you have in here? What you got in here? Like you in the living room? I'm in your fucking. I'm in your fucking kitchen. What you got in here? Like, I'm gonna see. Do you, do you, do you, do you need some? You need some while I'm in here? I'm gonna see. Why aren't you comfortable? Yes, look. Yes, I will shit in your house on the first goddamn time I'm over there too. Man, oh, fuck. See, I thought I was the only one. No, uh, uh-uh. uh. I thought I was the only one. Now I get the poopery and I'll spray. I even put the uh, vent on. If you look, if you want me to, I put the goddamn shower on, so you won't smell the goddamn thing. Man, but when, I, it, when it hit, it hit. When it hit, it hit. Like I even take it one step further. I find you. This is a hack. I find your 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 mouthwash. Pour it into the bath into the, into the toilet. It cuts the smell like you potatoes. Said what? Take the mouthwash. Okay. You learned that shit on uh, on TikTok? No, I actually knew this before. <laughs> I learned this before. I learned it before. <laughs> Yo, put some. You said put some mouthwash. Put mouthwash into the toilet. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Put mouthwash into the toilet. It will cut the smell, just like how potatoes will cut the smell of chitlin. Huh. It'll cut the smell. I don't know that chitlin life. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I did, from, totally from the south. But it will, if you pour mouthwash into the toilet, right, you can boo-boo freely. They won't smell a thing. Yo. And then you add on top of that, just like you said, cut on the shower, let the steam run a little bit. They won't smell a thing. Listen. Courtesy flush in between. It'd be like, but you just went in there and peed. Listen, last look, last time I tried one of these fucking Tell home me. home remedy hacks, whatever like that, I did the whole. They said if you put you put the whole fabuloso, okay, in the look in the look in the water bottle, yeah, and you punch a little hole at the bottom and you put it look you put it in the back of the toilet, and so every time you flush it, lets a little bit out or whatever, like yeah, that, and it keeps you clogged up my whole goddamn toilet. I said, uh, look, I said, look, look, these motherfuckers here, <laughs> look, 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 the water bottle. The water, look, the water bottle moved and shit. And moved That's over. what it was. It moved <laughs> over. Look, so, look, hold on. No, and it, look, it was just so fucked up because you think, like, look, I live in a fucking ghetto and shit. Oh, look, look, some fucked up. Somebody, look, somebody used about to came back in. It was like, your toilet stopped up. I'm looking at them like, you nasty motherfucker. Yeah, I can't believe how, look, you. How the hell you, look, look, how you, how you going to clog up my fucking toilet with that and just not try to fix it out? I go in there with, I look, like, I'm pissed off. Look at this shit like, my bad. My bad. My, my bad. bad. Look, like the fucking water bottle that moved in the way of the... Yeah, because when, when the water starts to fill back up, see, that, that water bottle is not as heavy as it's supposed to be, so it can move <laughs> when the waves get to moving. Look, Chad, look, Chad, talking about news you can use, yes. Midweek Vibe is very... You're welcome. And that's what we're about. Infor- and very informational. That is what we are about. <laughs> that is what we are about. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, because the, courte- the courtesy flushes don't fucking work no more. <laughs> they don't work no more because you know what motherfuckers like got hip to it. They be like, "Uh, this nigga in that boo, he done he done flushed three times, <laughs> <laughs> flushed three times in ten minutes. He done flushed three yeah. times. I know this nigga in that shitting. <laughs> I know he is. <laughs> this nigga fuck him. <laughs> that boy, what the fuck was that? I know this nigga in that shitting. He done got three. He done oh. he done flushed three times. Three. Damn, nigga, spray. <laughs> 
spray. <laughs> no, no, you hit, look, hold on, no, you hit that last one. You hit that last one, so you're like, okay. Let me, if I don't hit no sink, if I don't hit no sh <laughs> sh <laughs> Oh, this nigga ain't used none of my soft soap. You <laughs> <laughs> said soft soap. <laughs> Oh my God, bro! Oh shit! He ain't use none of my soft soap, y'all. Nah, I ain't heard no 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 squirts or pumps. <laughs> you not yeah, gonna hear that shit. shit. You not gonna hear that shit. He bro. ain't fooling me. As long, look, as long as I don't hear you all the way out in the fucking living room. Yeah, I'm good. And I be trying to hold that shit together, but it oh. don't be fucking working. I'm just saying, <laughs> it don't be fucking working. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what fuck me a week is gonna go. You never know. You never know. It wasn't even crazy, y'all. We had a whole plan. We talked about none of that. <laughs> look, look. Is this thing on me? It's, 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 it is on you, brother. Look, 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 look. look. <laughs> whole, whole fucking show. Whole fucking show long. We ain't talking about none of that shit. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beauty of what we do. This is the beauty of what we do. So, our black-owned business, our black-owned business is brought to you by Assist for You, our partners and sponsors. Assist for You. Make sure you go to the website www.assistforthenumber4u.com. Before, before you get into that, speaking of Assist for You, we we'll look, 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 look. Uh, half of the duo of Assist for You, Gracie, Grace, Gracie Pooh. We had one of your shots today. That's all I'm going to say. Gracie Poo. <laughs> Look here. So, I'm so glad, brother. I'm so glad you said that. That's, yeah. See, that's how I know we are brothers. And we, are we did. Yeah. Did you die, though? Did you die? <laughs> did you die, though? The shot we had before the show. It was for you, Gracie. All right. It for was you. for you, Gracie. We miss you, Gracie. So, a shout out to our partners and our sponsors assist for you uh, www.assist the number four you.com and this week's black owned business all right is coming to you and it is a staple and i am so mad at myself that i have not done them i'm not sure if i pause if i've not done them before but this week's black owned business is coming to you right here out of Dallas, Texas. Let me find them. There we go. Uh oh. Right there, out of Dallas, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, the famous, the famous Rudy's Chicken. 10 piece dark on the screen right Rudy's there. Rudy's Chicken, Yo. right there. Rudy's Chicken, 3115 South Lancaster Road, Dallas, Texas, 75216. Right? Rudy's Chicken, I think we have all, if you haven't been in Dallas, you need to make sure that you go and get you a chicken basket with fries from rudy's chicken yeah make sure you take okay. your uh right. blood pressure pills take and take four bottles of water drink two before yep. two after mm -hmm. to make sure you balance out the sodium but now it is going to be some of the best now the men that chicken that you've ever had some of the in people, my life some of the people that are sitting out on the uh you know on the step don't mind them don't, don't mind them, them. don't mind them nope. unless, about nope. unless you want to buy them a two-piece you know yep. like that spread the wealth you absolutely know, like, take care, like take care of your people but take care of your people yeah. rudy's chicken a staple right here in dallas texas they have upgraded their building this is one of the older picks they have upgraded to a newer looking building yeah but it is still the same recipe the same food yeah. the same service the same weight yeah the classic Rudy's experience, you will get it. So Rudy's Chicken is our black owned business of the week right there. 3115 South Lancaster Road, Dallas, Texas, 75216. That is this week's black owned business of the week. Alright. What? Pooties chicken? What the I said Rudy's. Who said Pooties? I definitely <laughs> did not say no Pooties. She said light on the salt, please. <laughs> they don't believe in that shit. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. They do not believe in that shit. I need extra seasoning. <laughs> they do not believe in that shit. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Damn, he put that shit up there fast as fuck. Like shit. He put this shit on the Well, it's on you right fuck. now, so they I'm can't saying, see it. I'm just saying, like, you know. Yeah, they can't see it. All so right. They, you know. <laughs> I've got this down. I'm just saying shit. I understand you know? this process. We've been doing this. <laughs> I understand. The yes, process. I remember. I remember when that shit was 
the funeral home. I used to sit around the corner from it. That's a whole other story, though. <laughs> Holy like, shit. Yes, I did. Uh, Fernwood. That's a whole other story. All right. So uh, today's music of the week is a throwback. It's a throwback artist. You know, still in the game, but he's been a little low key. He's been low key right now. He's been a little low key. Neo came out with a new album entitled Self Explanatory. Neo. Neo dressed yes. in the music? Yeah, you know, he look, he took a hiatus. Him and the wife had to work some shit out. They, they were, were going to get divorced, and, they you did. know, they got back together, and they were going to get divorced they again. Did. Yeah, they did. They, they, look, you know, they look, they, they back together, and I guess in good harmony or whatever like that, and he decided to put out the album. Wow. Yeah. Neo uh, and the camp. Neo and, yes. Neo. Yes. Of course he would have a hat on, but Neo. Self-explanatory. All these rings and chains. Rings and, and chains and everything. Probably got a grill in there, too. He probably Balls. took that picture with his iPhone. <laughs> hey. Save money wherever you get. Save money wherever you get. I suspect. I suspect. I suspect he ain't got no fucking budget. Man. All right, Neo. Well, I got to learn. Go check it out then. Yeah, you know. I ain't put my ears to it yet. Okay. You know, but I figure like, hey, ne- Neo is Neo. He's, he's going to have Neo. he's gonna have some hits. He's, you know, he's going to do, you know, do what he does. Yeah. So there you go. Neo, yeah. self-explanatory. Now, would you, now, I'm going to throw this up, this quick question out there to you, um, Music head, yeah, music not. expert. Would you consider him a legend or a genius, or in or either category? Hmm. Uh, because not only has he, he has he, you know, put out albums. He's a writer, producer, right? Yeah. So where would you throw him? Uh, I say genius because I don't believe in legends. You know, even though I have a I have a couple Paul Bunyan stories about myself out there, you know I don't believe look I don't believe in legends. You know, he's a genius. Okay. Because what like, because what he does, you know, from taking obviously being an artist, but he started as a writer, right, and being able to you know take yourself out of the situation and write, yeah, as if you were a woman or a better woman or a man in this position, this blah blah blah. Like it's okay. it take it takes. It takes a certain level of genius, or whatever, like, you know, to put yourself in those shoes or whatever. Facts. So, I can see and that. And he has, he, look, he look, he got a million hits up under his he belt. He do got a million so hits. That I'm he's slipping even, on, I'm slipping on my pepper. No worries. That he's, you know, that he's written for, yeah. that he's produced. I mean, he's yeah. He's he's done a lot. A whole lot. He's done a lot that a lot of people don't know that he's done. Yeah. Exactly. You know. Yeah. So I'm 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 kind of anxious to you know put my head. had to be in the right sure. had to be in the right uh, space. I think so too. You know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think the last song that I actually like jammed was "Champagne Life" from <laughs> that was a from Neo. Yeah, that was a, that was a cut though. Yeah, it was a cut. That was a cut. Yeah. It's still a cut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Neo, self, like self-explanatory. You know. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of remixes and all the other shit that come off of this. Oh, absolutely. You know. Absolutely. But, you know, you can catch Midweek Vibe on the top seven platforms in the world, just in case you want to catch up on a, the previous it. 117 117 episodes. Let's get it. You know, you can go to Apple Podcasts. Yes. iHeartRadio. Yes. Google. Yes. Audible. Yes. Pandora. Yes. YouTube. Yes. And Spotify. The- he got them all. There you go. He got them all. Yeah. Done. You know, also go to midweekvibes.com or wherever that. Get your merch today. Get, get your, your merch. merch. Get your merch. Get, get your merch. merch. Get your merch. Get your merch. Get your fucking merch. It still ain't too late. We don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to go to the spot and we're going to get some vibe hoochie daddies going. Listen. While they still popping. Look, look. You know. While they still popping. You know, my se- look, my season is coming up. And, you know, it's all, I'm always, you know, in hoodie season. I you know. know. I'm, I'm all in crew neck. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a crew. I'm, I'm a hoodie guy. I'm into the crew. Now, there's a couple hoodies, like the the gray with the, the V and the wing. Yeah. It's one of my favorite hoodies. You know? I got to say that. That's one of, that is one of my favorite hoodies. My favorite one. I think I'd be running this shit in the fucking ground. The classic black one. The classic. <laughs> man. <laughs> The classic vibe when you just can't go wrong with that. No, you can't. You can't, can't go, go wrong. wrong with the classic can't vibe. Wrong. Can't go wrong with the classic, man. Nah. You know, I'm thinking of another classic to drop on y'all. No, ooh, no, no, hold on now. No. One that you, I think, that you died, outdid yourself. 
What's the sideways V? With the oh yeah, vibe. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah you kind of did yourself with that one, yeah. dog. Yeah, and that bit. was tough. Yeah. That was like designer. I need to pull that shit back out. Pause. Yeah, that was designer. I need to get a <laughs> t-shirt made with that one. Yeah, man. I thought we got to Never mind. I thought you know, we did. But we, no. I don't know if we did or not. I think we just got the hoodies. And uh, I got a crew. Yeah, yeah. Got a lot of shit. You know, thank, look, look, thank, thank, gratitude for everybody who's purchased. Yeah, absolutely. Who's purchased gear, you know, and continue to follow and, you know, and support us, you know, because it's, you know, my. So uh, <laughs> we just we, we look, gratitude right now, gratitude. Just gratitude. You know, we thank y'all. Attitude of gratitude. Yeah, we thank y'all. We thank y'all for everybody else. May we stand? Mm. It's been another episode of Midweek Vibe. I'm your boy Cobain. That is Draper Winston. I am. Until next week, people. Peace. Peace. Peace.